This is Ford Field in Detroit, home of the Lions. Today they meet the Browns, Don Pricky with Randy Cross. Quinn with a long count, looking to throw downfield. He does, long ball, right on target, across the 50-yard line. So the Browns hit deep. Massaqua, rookie, makes the big play. A good throw by Quinn, a 24-yard gain. Beautiful high and outside, backside shoulder throw by Brady Quinn. Philip Buchanan trying to get the coverage. He missed five games this year with a leg injury, but back in good health. Snapping set down, good ball is powered down and through. And the Browns, who were shut out Monday night at home by the Ravens, get points on their first possession. They take a 3-0 lead. Right now, the uh, first throw was a little timing throw on the flat and a huge gain. Look at this. This could go. Kevin Smith is inside the 20 and all the way down to the 16-yard line. Rodney Poole saves a touchdown. And on their opening play from scrimmage, the Lions hit a 64-yard pass play. Well, Kevin Smith lines up in the backfield and watch him just come through here on the fake. And when he does come through, no one is with him. The entire defense bites and shifts. When they bite, they bite, then they all shift away. There's no one. On the way and through. And first and ten, Browns. Quinn play fake, looking deep. There's the long ball, a big arm and an open receiver. And the Browns are in the end zone with a sensational throw to Massaqua. Man, they couldn't get the ball downfield Monday night. They are doing it today. A 59-yard scoring play. Well, Massaqua was working inside against Philip Buchanan. A little coordination problem between he and Coe Simpson at safety. This team's had five touchdowns the entire season. In fact, five touchdowns the last 15 games, making it look easy right now against Detroit. Massaqua and Matthew Stafford, or Matt, uh, Brady Quinn, just have it going on, working against Buchanan and Simpson. After Quinn. Uh, Lions coming. Quinn dumps it off nicely. And a very good move upfield with the ball. Right now, a handoff and the run to Chris Jennings. Lucky from Arizona for the Jets on. He has a don't back down attitude. We like that. Here is uh, Brady Quinn lofting a long ball. Right, open, open receiver again. Another touchdown for the Browns. Chancey Stuckey as Brady Quinn with the long balls is lighting it up in Detroit. That was a 40-yard score. Boy, William James, who was out of the game earlier with a little stinger trying to tackle J Jamal Lewis, trails the entire way. Took a little bite on that play-action pump. Chancey Stuckey wide open. Stafford, who needs to make some big plays, and here comes a blitz. A big one. And Stafford is almost, he is picked off. Browns come up with the ball, beautifully done. Eric Wright running it all the way back. And he's not done, Eric Wright taking it all the way back inside the 20. And finally, down he goes, but what a play. The Lions fans are actually cheering the Browns at this point. Now, I'm not sure if Jeff- A lot of Browns fans too. I'm not sure if Jeff Bacchus, who made the uh, tackle right there didn't get a little face mask on Eric Wright. Unnecessary roughness. Pass to the team. Half the distance to the goal. First down. Wasn't a face mask. He grabbed the in, the helmet's opening, used it as a tackle. 40-yard return by Eric Wright. Beautiful catch. He talks about his speed. Every time you talk to this young man, eventually in your conversation, he's going to tell you how fast he is. And I think he's got everybody in Detroit convinced that he's got some pretty good wheels. And watch back as 76 grabbed the part of the helmet. Didn't get the face mask, but grabbed the opening of the helmet. Power set. Play fake. Twin looks into the end zone. Touchdown Cleveland. Brady Quinn with three touchdown throws in the first quarter. Josh Cribbs on the payoff end. Well, that was a pass pattern that just required protection. And man, did Brady Quinn get protection. Well, you can't score 21 at a time, so just calm down and be efficient if you're Matthew Stafford. There's a nice timing throw over the middle on a crossing pattern. Brandon Pettigrew, the tight end. 6'6", 265 pounds, knocking people down in a 29-yard game, looks like. Nice timing throw again. 
And this is going to go the distance for a Lions touchdown. Aaron Brown out of the backfield. Some call it a bubble screen or a slip screen, whatever you want, but it worked perfectly. A 26-yard play and a touchdown. Well, Don, the whole idea of these bubble screens, they, they run them in college because teams want to blitz a spread offense. Here in the NFL, same thing. They're blitzing inside. Look at the look they're giving Matthew Stafford. It's blitz all the way. Throw the bubble screen, get a couple blocks out in front of your runner. All our condolences to the Spielman family. Chris Spielman, a tremendous player at Ohio State with the lines, and now they are. Line to gain is the Browns, 39. Throwing a catch, first down, Lions. As the big rangy receiver from Georgia Tech, Calvin Johnson, ordinary talent. Calvin Johnson, they missed on a lot of hot kick wide receivers at Detroit. They didn't miss on him. Here is a throw down field and a catch and a touchdown. No signal yet, but looks like now it comes. It's a touchdown for the Lions, and all of a sudden this game is turned around. The Lions are right back in it on that 25-yard touchdown throw. Well, you have to compliment the calm of Matthew Stafford, Scott Linehan, the offensive coordinator, Jim Schwartz, the head coach. They got down 24 to three. There was no rush to score to try to score 21 at once. Maurice Morris is in the backfield, swinging out. Stafford looking. See that arm strength. Open receiver. We're going to have a tie game with the extra point. Calvin Johnson is in. And the Lions seemingly hopelessly out of the game on their home field down 24 to 3. After that 75 yard scoring play, ready to tie it up with an extra point. Well, don't confuse the ability to scramble with the ability to move. Stafford moved, bought himself the time. And man, Calvin Johnson showed you a little bit of that speed we were talking about earlier. His Brodney Poole couldn't stay close to him, and once he caught the ball, he had no chance of getting close to him. And Randy, a wave of happiness seems to have swept over Ford Field here. He's slow start for the Lions, but they're now in a tie game, and here is Quinn on a rollout, swings it out. Well-executed play. It's going to go for yardage as uh, running with the ball is Chris Jennings. Here now is Quinn, a good fake, and he screens the ball to Jennings with blockers in front. He's ahead for a first down to the 35-yard line of the Lions. Defensive end Jason Hunter finally got him down, but good play execution by the Browns, and Quinn with the fake. Five-yard penalty would get him a first down. Dawson can make this. Quinn looks out, pattern beautifully thrown ball for a first down. Pro. Blitzers come. Good fake. Oh, a drop. 29-yard field goal attempt. Hit up and good. Penalized teams are one of the least penalized this season. Here is Quinn. Look at that throw. And look at that move with the ball. And it looks like it's, let's see the linesman come in. He had to get to the 30. And that might have the spot chance. He's Stuckey to Detroit. Brady Quinn under center on second. Looking deep. Out throw. Beautifully connected. Downfield to the... 46-yard line to Greg Astandia. It's up on him 3-0. They've gone into a scoring trunk, the Cowboys, and now look at this run up to the 45-yard line. First down run, good for 12 yards. Long touchdown included. Stafford. He throws it like a baseball, and here is Calvin Johnson heading down to the one-yard line. Well, when you're talking about Calvin Johnson, eventually in a football game, you will marvel at his size and his ability of yards after the catch. 30 yards here, but watch the yards after he catches the ball. This guy's 6'5", 235. Tear it down and use the acreage. Now here's a hand up the Lions. No, it's a fake and a throw and a touchdown. Beautiful execution. Will Heller on the receiving end of his third touchdown catch. First and ten now for the Lions. Up by four. Stafford. That's grounding in the end zone. Yeah. The Browns get two points. They're going to get the ball. There are two fouls on the play. Holding. Offense. That penalty's declined. That's a safety. Intentional grounding. Offense number nine. The foul occurred in the end zone. Safety. Yeah! Both fouls occurred in the end zone. Both would have resulted in two points. 
Winding pattern. Blockers in front. Cribs goes to work. Leaping over to look at He's not done. He might take it in. Cribs is all the way down to the five-yard line and out at the four. Power set. Triple tight ends. Play fake. Quinn looks. Goes. Caught. Touchdown Cleveland. The Browns take back the lead. The ex-Lion Michael Gaines on the receiving end. And now I would think that, Randy, the Browns go for two. Yeah, they're going for two right here. Michael Gaines, what a beautiful job fighting through the tackle. Brady Quinn fades and fades, evades and evades. Vinnie Churchill's trying to make the tackle, but talk about Gaines at six foot two, 270. Browns lead by four, looking to extend to a... Beautiful direct snap to Jamal Lewis. They empty the backfield. Head down. One linesman has it, Randy. One does not as they come in from the side. The near side linesman has it right on the 50. If they mark it with this left foot, it's going to be a first down. How about a wallet? Oh, yeah, wallet with very little money in it. <laughs> Well, haven't you been reading the news lately? Nobody's wallets are full. Right. Bob Ryan, one of the twin sons of the former Bears coach, Buddy Ryan. Swing by the Rex, of course, the coach of the Jets. And here is a nicely thrown ball. The Pettigrew, one rookie to another. Stafford, uh, Brandon Pettigrew. Now first down, out of time. There's the long ball. Covers looks very good. Looks like a pick. It is. For the second time today, Matthew Stafford is intercepted by the Browns. This time it's Brodney Poole. And the Browns take over the ball with a six-point lead and 3.40 to play. Watch Brodney Poole come out on the left side of your screen. He is tracking this ball as the receiver. Brady Quinn throws. Connects. Hawk first down Cleveland. Chancey stuck. He's been making plays all day. He's empty. Here comes the blitz. He gets rid of it. Throw off target. And the Lions will get it back. Here's a snap. Rush coming. Off the back foot and a connection. He's completed off his back foot. Another check down. Long catch. Throwing the ball inside into the middle of the field. Yeah, the Browns playing cover eight. They're rushing three. They'll let him run. Side arms the ball. First down. He's at the top of your screen, Calvin Johnson. Stafford fires hard, makes a connection, gets his tight end, Pettigrew. And he has a first down to the 43. Under 35 now. It's going to be about 27, 28 by the time they kill this. What a game. Third down coming up. Question of whether or not they're going to try to stick this thing in that hole to Calvin Johnson. First down throw. Got the clock ticking. 13. It's going to be 9 or 10 by the time this is killed. Wow, 8. Down to 8. Stafford, 8 seconds remaining. Stafford takes the snap. Steps in the pocket. Rolls left. This is going to be it. Got to get rid of it. Stafford, set. Look, now running back to his right. Stafford looking for somewhere to go. Sets and throws. End zone. Watch Calvin. He pushed him. That's got to be a flag. It's going to be first and goal, Lions. Stafford shaking up. He's up. Pass interference. Rob Ryan is up. He's about 20 yards onto the field. Well, the end zone. Well, they're calling it on Detroit. Well, the yes. one yard line. Stafford's hurt. First down. This pass interference is against the Cleveland Browns. Matt Detroit Stafford. Detroit is charged with a first. Oh, it is against the Browns. Out due to injury. We thought originally, and here's Stafford. Now he gets hurt on his. And the oh man, he's driven into the ground hard. The ball is intercepted, but the pass interference is against Cleveland. Look at this. So now it's going to be with no oh, time on the clock. Shoulder. One play for the Lions. Dante Culpepper's at quarterback. You win it or lose it. Yeah, he had to come in. He's not warmed up as Stafford was hurt on the play. This is it. This is the game. Timeout. Cleveland, 30-second timeout. And now the Browns want a defensive timeout to take a look at what the opportunities might be for Dante Culpepper, who comes in off the bench, never threw a warm-up throw. 
Stafford was hurt and uh, Eric Mangini in heavy protest that left shoulder collarbone area. He's up. He's looking better now. Fortunately. What is going to happen now? It's these two teams battling for respectability really one and eight coming in. Don my question is Stafford's they, they back. Keep, they, they called the penalty on Cleveland. Then they said they charged Detroit a right, timeout, an injury timeout. They didn't have any timeouts. So this is it. One last play for the Lions and for the Browns. Wow. All right, gets it in. They win it. Cleveland wins it with a stop. One yard to gain. Throw. Touchdown, Detroit. They did it. The Lions came back and did it. If they hit the extra point, which is a 90% plus possibility of success. For Matt Stafford. Matt Stafford's left shoulder is really hurt. And Detroit has to get off the field. And he sticks this right into his young tight end. Right in front of Tresnik. Tresnik. Oh, that's got to be killing him. It's right on that, right in that collarbone area where he got crunched down. But what a comeback. What a game. What a heartbreak for the Browns. A tremendous effort. But the Lions find a way back. They were down at one point by 21 points. And that was in the first quarter. Extra point is good, and the game is over. The Lions beat the Browns 38 to 37. That is heartbreak oh. for the Cleveland Browns. If I was Eric Mangini, though, I want an explanation. I know about the pass interference, but then the official McCauley announced that there was an injury for Detroit and they were charging them a timeout, but they didn't have any timeouts. That would have been a runoff in that case. So the fifth touchdown pass of the day by Stafford decides the game. On the last play. Remember that five touchdowns for Matt Stafford, according to our sources, yeah. makes him the first rookie quarterback in the history of the league to have five touchdown passes.